pollination. Importance of flower. Why do plants need flowers? Flowers have a major role in the life of a plant. They are the reproductive structures of a plant. Reproduction in plants involves two processes that happen in the flowers. These are pollination and fertilization. Let us examine pollination now. Before going to the process of reproduction in plants, just recollect the parts of a flower so that further discussion will be easy. As you know, the stamens of a flower are the male organs. The anthers of the stamen produce a powdery material called pollen. When the anthers mature, they dehyce, exposing the pollen. The individual constituent of pollen is called pollen grain. Each pollen grain contains the male cells or male gametes. The pistil of a flower is referred to as the female part of the flower. It is made up of one or more parts called carpels. The carpels bear the ovules or undeveloped seeds. Ovules are the containers of female gamete or the egg. The first step that leads to the development of fruits and seeds is pollination. The pollination is the transference of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower. Now let's discuss the two types of pollination observed in plants. Self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination occurs when the pollen from the anther of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the same flower or another flower on the same plant. Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen from flowers of one plant to flowers of another plant of the same species. Cross-pollination is better than self-pollination. When flowers are cross-pollinated, their seeds germinate into strong, healthy plants. Seeds from self-pollinated flowers produce weaker, less healthy plants. Do you know that nature favors cross-pollination? Plants have various adaptations to bring about cross-pollination. Let's see a few agents that bring about cross-pollination.